Well, hello everyone. I hope you guys are hungry. I am. Today we're going to be cooking a childhood favorite of mine, pepper steak. And it's very easy and requires very little ingredients. First things first, you're going to need a flank steak like this. You could probably get two of these, depending on how much you want to have. Two onions, two green peppers, and depending on how garlicky you like things, you can have maybe two or three garlic cloves. But let's go ahead and start with the process. We're going to cut up this flank steak. Cut your flank steak into thin slices and then cut those in half. We're going to take our sliced pieces of meat and we're going to put them in a bowl here and we're going to go ahead and marinate that meat in uh, some soy sauce, but I prefer to use liquid aminos. Has the same flavor, but a lot less sodium. So let's go ahead and get our meat into the bowl here. Now that the meat's in the bowl, put the soy sauce on top and mix up the meat. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up our peppers into long strips. And we're gonna go ahead and remove all the seeds and that fleshy material inside. We're gonna cut them into long strips and after you're done with that, you can cut those strips in half so that they aren't too long. Now that we've finished cutting up our peppers, put them in a bowl and set them aside. Now we're going to go ahead and cut up the onions. Same thing, long strips, nothing special. Now that we've completed with our onions, we put them in a bowl and set them aside as well. Now next, we're going to take, uh, I have three garlic cloves here. You can do two if you don't like garlic that much, but uh, I'm going to cut those into little slices. We're going to go ahead and set this sliced garlic aside in a bowl until we're ready to use it. All right, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our sliced garlic and we're going to cook it in the pan here. So we need about a tablespoon of olive oil. Put that in there. And let's go ahead and turn on our heat. And let's go ahead and put our sliced garlic in here. Now we're only going to have it in here for a little while, to saute it a little bit. So now our garlic uh, looks about ready. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set aside the garlic, keep the oil in the pan, and next we're gonna go ahead and put the onions in here. I'm gonna do something similar. We're gonna saute the onions for a little bit, not for too long. And then once they're done, we're gonna set them aside just like we did with the garlic. Now we're gonna go ahead and saute our green peppers on this pan. Looks like our green peppers are just about done. So we're gonna set those aside as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the meat that we had marinating and we're going to put it in the pan and cook it. And we're going to stir it around constantly as we cook. Now that we've browned our steak, we're going to go ahead and add the rest of everything that we cooked earlier back into the pan. So we'll add the green peppers, the garlic, and the onions. So now we're going to cook and stir this all this mixture up. So now that we've been cooking our pepper steak, there's one more thing we need to add. What I have over here is a half cup of beef broth. I have my liquid aminos, which is gonna act as the soy sauce. And I also have some cornstarch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make the sauce for the pepper steak. So we add the cornstarch, and you also add a couple dabs of uh, soy sauce, not too much. And then you're gonna go ahead and mix it up. You're gonna mix it up really good. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our mixture here to our pepper steak. And we're gonna stir that all together and let it cook. As you see the sauce, it'll start to thicken. Then you know that the pepper steak is ready and then it's done. Well, it looks like our pepper steak is just about done. So all we have to do now, serve it on a bed of jasmine rice that I have here. So there you have it, pepper steak. Very easy meal to create, very few ingredients, doesn't take a lot of time. There's something missing. You can't have steak without a drink. So the drink we're making today is called a BLT. That's bourbon 
lime, and tonic. First things first, we're gonna add uh, our tonic to the our little muddler thing here. About four ounces of tonic water. Then we're gonna add 1.3 ounces of bourbon. Couple rocks. You wanna stir it up a little bit. Not a full on shake, cause it's uh, fizzy. Served in a chilled glass with rocks and a wedge of lime for garnish. Now I'm ready to have dinner. Ah, pepper steak. It's a childhood favorite. Mm. Now this brings me back. The only thing that wasn't there when I was a kid was a drink. Cheers.